Hello people, so I have a very exciting video today. I have a brand new magical box to show you guys and here it is. So this is a box from Mist and Magic. So their products are completely vegan, they are environmentally friendly, which I love, especially in today's world with the environment being in such a crisis. They are based in France, but everything's in English. And yeah, I just think they're going to be another really cool subscription service. They're not a subscription yet, but I think they're trying to be. Uh, I guess the most exciting thing about this for me is that this box was very kindly sent to me for free to review on my YouTube channel. How exciting is that? And quite good timing as well as I've just come back from a short break. And I'm pretty sure this is the same box that they've had out for a while. And I think they sell all of their products or at least most of the products on their online shop. All the links will be in the description down below. And I'm genuinely excited to share them with you. So yeah, if that sounds good to you. Then keep on watching. Leave a like if you enjoy this video and subscribe if you want to, if you're new. <laughs> okay, so I've already cut round the edges because they were fastened with tape to keep it secure. And I guess there's nothing more left to do but to open it up. We are at once greeted with a very beautiful purpley tissue paper. That's exciting. Not giving anything away. I love it. Okay, so I'm just going to put this on the floor and pick at random, which is what I usually do with mystery boxes. <laughs> there are lots of boxes in here. Let's, I'm going to, I'm going to pick this one up first. So this is the box. It has lots of different magical creatures on it. The magical nature, na natural, naturalist. <laughs> The Magical Naturalist. The box is really fancy. As I said, it has all of these magical creatures on there, so I can see a hippogriff, a griffin, a unicorn, a stag, a phoenix, a snake, I don't know if that's a horned serpent or a basilisk maybe. Yeah, all around the box, very pretty. We have what looks like a mug. So here is the mug, it is white and it has some lovely, beautiful images of a hippogriff and bits of information on a hippogriff. That's really cool, actually. I love the design of it. So if we start from this side, we have a feather. We have some writing on it. It's really fancy writing. I can't really read what it says. There's an image of a hippogriff's head and on the other side is a full image of a hippogriff and it says hippogriff on top. They look like they're almost hand painted. I wonder if it is hand painted. Yeah, I really like that. That's really nice. Definitely a win so far and you can never have too many Harry Potter mugs. I've said that many times before. So yeah, I like this. Next up, we have a box which is tied up with some string. So I'm just gonna take the string off. And on the lid of the box here, it says, care for your baby dragon essentials kit. That's really cool. Okay, so I just open this one up. What do we have in here? Vitamin and mineral supplements, dragon treats. Beautiful little tin here. Warning, this is dragon food, do not eat. Treats, vitamin and mineral supplements, essential nutrients for your baby dragon's growth. That is really cool. It's a lovely colored tin as well. It's like a rose gold tin. Really nice quality. Okay, what's in here then? <laughs> Wrapped up in little tissue paper. What is it? I'm so intrigued. Okay, so they look like little, I don't know, little rocks, but they're not rocks, little stones, but not actually stones because they are dragon supplements. Let's just get a few out. I wouldn't think that these are actually edible anyway, which is, which is fine. Yeah, that's, that's a really cool idea. Like a really cool idea. I love that. This is so cool. This box is so cool. Okay, what else do we have in here? A little tiny, I believe this is a sticker. Little tiny sticker of a baby dragon. That's really cute. Um, next up, we have soothing lotion, repair and nourish baby dragon wings. Oh my gosh! So a little, a little bottle with one of those little swidgy syringe type things with a cloth, which is really soft, by the way to soothe your baby dragon's wings. I mean, how original is this? How original and cute and cool are all these things? And that was just in this one little box. Next up, we have what looks like a tote bag. This is really nice. So yeah, it's a tote bag. It's a nice sized bag. It's a creamy white color. And on the front, it says, Beastery, 
magical creatures. We have a dragon, a phoenix, a hippogriff, a basilisk, a sea dragon, a unicorn, a white stag, and a manticore. So it wasn't a griffin on the box, it's a manticore. I love tote bags, I love taking them shopping. So yeah, I would definitely use this. It's really nice quality, it feels really sturdy, really thick. So I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. Yeah, that's, that's so nice, that's really nice. I'm excited about all these magical creature related things. Okay, what else do we have in this magical box? There seems to be so many more items in here. Right, so I have a cardboard tube, more purpley tissue paper, wrapped in string. And yeah, you can tell it's all recyclable stuff. What, what is, oh my goodness me. Whoa, loads of little wiggly worms everywhere. <laughs> they seem to be a very effective packing technique. Um, okay, this is cool. There's more than one. Okay, there's more than one. We have two A3 prints here, and I'm already thinking about where the hell I'm gonna put these, because these are stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So this is the first one. It depicts all these different dragon eggs. Um, I don't think these are dragon eggs from dragons that we've already heard of. I think these are different breeds of dragon. I can't really read the writing, but that's fine by me. That is just so beautiful. Beautiful quality, really, really thick paper. Well, not even paper, card. Oh. Okay, and the second one, you're not even ready for the second one. This is, I don't know, a certificate maybe? Something like that of a seed. <laughs> magical creature of the northern woodlands with its large antlers white coat and i can't really write read this fantasy writing very well it's not the company's fault it's just me i can't really re read it very well either way it's very very beautiful it it's it's like part stag part unicorn basically um yeah again very beautiful beautiful quality you cannot fault the quality on these items mazajuologists a pot Magis, magis, I can't say magis zoologists. Magis zoologists, apocathory, apocathory. These are two words in the wizarding world that I already find difficulty in saying, and they're in the same place. Magis zoologists, apocathory, antidote potions. Oh, these are adorable. I have three little potions. They are so cute. So the first one is darkness stones. Oh, wow. They are like dark purple glittery little stones. They are so beautiful. That is, oh, they are stunning. The glitter. They are so shimmery. That is so cute, darkness stones. Okay, again, never heard of these things. They're not using, they're not mentioning many things that have been mentioned in the wizarding world before. It's like they've come up with their own stuff, which I love. I love the originality of these things. Oh my gosh, I've just noticed the inside of the box has a really dark green velvet for each section. So the next one is gold crystal essence. And again, lots of glittery crystals of white and gold so so pretty and the last one is missileweed restorative draft with lots of green stuff in it <laughs> i i am blown away by the quality of these little potions the quality of the box so cool so so cool oh my gosh okay we still have more items the pocket book of magical creatures Oh, it's a lovely little notebook, or little pocket book, as they said, of magical creatures. The Pocket Book of Magical Creatures, Dangerous Beasts and Other Monsters by Archibald Winters, member of the Irish Society of Magizoologists, Magi fellow of the Royal Society, member of the Order of the White Dragon. Okay, contents, dragon, griffin, hydra, wyvern, phoenix, unicorn, cowpea, manticore. Oh, very dangerous. It looks really old fashioned text. It looks like this book is years old. Each page has a little bit of information of each of the characters, characters, creatures 
that they mentioned. There's even the phoenix and a unicorn in here, which aren't dangerous. That is so cool. I'm going to have to give this a read. Really beautifully detailed, beautifully designed. Again, another really cool little thing. Okay, so we have another thing here, which looks very intriguing. It looks like a map. Certificate of Authenticity, Magical Creatures of the Old Continent Map. This certificate hereby certifies that the accompanying map is a reproduction based on the original map created by the famous magizoologist and geographer Ignatius Ortelus in 1570 i'm not very good at names <laughs> yeah that that's that's so cool look how that's packaged that's really nice and wrapped up beautifully with string okay i'm gonna have to undo this so i can look at the map i'm not ready for this this is gonna be massive and it's gonna be cool just look at this it's huge it's huge I, again really thick high quality card or paper I, I don't know the material, but it, it feels really cool. And look at the detail on this map. Magical creatures of the old continent. This is so cool. This is something you just have to look at for hours. So yeah, the old continent, back in the olden days, I suppose. So, okay, so they have images of different magical creatures where you could find them. So for example, the sea dragon, you will find the sea dragon in the ocean, which is not a surprise. <laughs> yeah, it has all sorts of different things on here. Uh, the dire wolf. I just spotted the dire wolf, which just made me think of Game of Thrones, because when would dire wolf not remind you of Game of Thrones? Kelpie, which is another sea animal. Hippogriff, phoenix. Oh, this is so cool. You, you really have to just look at it. In so much do you I could spend hours looking at this there's there's a compass thing the border is beautiful and it looks really old-fashioned as well like you'd expect from an old map oh that's just so cool and even the back it looks all old and stained again details are not have not gone amiss where it was folded up it's got a bit creased um, but that just adds to the authenticity of it like, because you'd expect a map to be folded up like that and to be kept in your pocket. Oh, there are still more items, people. There are still, still more items. Okay. Field notes, magical creatures. Right, so I have my very own notebook. It's lined paper. My very own notebook where I can note down my own magical creatures spottings. I could be my very own magizoologist travel the world and make notes in this as to what I find and where I find them. That's really nice, I love that. And again, it looks really old fashioned, it looks worn. There are more things, there are many more like paper replica type things. Okay, so we have what looks like a newspaper called the Magizoologist. Oh, this is the items list. That is very cool. They've made it look like a newspaper. And it's like advertising all these different things, but what they're advertising is the things that are in the box. That's really cool. So we'll have another look at that later. Because I'm not done. This looks fancy. Winterdale University of Magic Diploma. I have a diploma. I have apparently been to the University of Magic. Right, okay. All right then. Oh my gosh, just look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that gold foiling. Can you see that reflection? Again, beautiful quality. I can't, that is so beautiful. Winterdale University, the Board of Trustees, by virtue of the authority vested in it by law and upon recommendation of the Dean and Faculty, does hereby confer on the degree of magis, I can't say that word. The degree of magic zoologist in recognition of fulfillment of the requirements for that degree with all the rights, privileges and honours thereunto appurtening this 14th day of December 2019. It's signed by the head of magical creatures department and the president of the university and it has a wax seal which I'm pretty sure is a proper 
proper wax seal. As far as I'm aware, this is completely designed by them, completely made up, I suppose, by them. There is, I believe, one last item left. So this is the Ministry of Magic, Magical Creatures Department. Information on this record is restricted. This record or any part of it is strictly restricted, strictly restricted to Ministry's employees possessing the appropriate accreditation from the Magical Creatures Department. Subject, Horned Basilisk Escaped. Jurisdiction, Birmingham. Date, 18th of October. 1925 and it has some names and people who have looked at it i suppose it comes up with a little paper clip a warrant to apprehend missing creature report very high risk horned basilisk witness transcript name patricia wick may wicken mayor so this is like a file based on the disappearance of a basilisk in Birmingham. I mean, how freaking awesome is that? How freaking cool and original are all of these items? I'm completely blown away. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, let's look at the items list. The Magizoologist, the I cannot say that word. So on the contents, it has the items list, antidote potions, care for your baby dragon kit, Magizoologist diploma, magical creatures pocket book, basilisk venom pin, Basilisk Venom Pin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we have a Basilisk Venom Pin. <laughs> I, I completely missed that. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's a Basilisk Venom Pin. I was like, where is this pin? Uh, yeah, I missed that out. Um, it's a beautiful shiny pin. It'll be going with my collection. That is really nice. Ministry of Magic Files. That was the last thing I looked at. The Magical Creatures Tote Bag. The Seedith print, seeth, seed, field notes notebook, dragon eggs print, magical creatures map and hippogriff mug. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve items. Twelve items and every single item is freaking amazing. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay. <laughs> right. So yeah, there's a bit of information on all of the things inside here. I want to know a bit more information about the antidote potions actually. The darkness stones are a potent antidote to most poisonous substances. The gold crystal elixir soothes painful cuts, bites and stings while stimulating tissue regrowth. The missileweed restorative draft, freshly cut Icelandic mistweed marinated in magical spices and powders to restore and repair scarred tissue. There's even a crossword puzzle on here and horoscopes on here. It's not just an items list, it's it's actual, it's, I, I, I'm going to count this as another item, okay. Wow, I feel like I've been filming forever. Every item in this box for me is original, is beautifully designed. The detail, the quality, I cannot fault any item in any way. If I was to say what my favorite item was, I mean, I mean, I, I love potions. So I love this box. They're going on my potion shelf. I'm gonna have to keep them in the box as well because I'm, I cannot get rid of the box. The packaging, the packaging of each item, it's just so, it's just been so beautifully done. It's as if, where it's all been wrapped up in string, it's as if it's come straight from the magical world. Like you can go into a magical shop and purchase these things. These prints are beautiful and such high quality. The tote bag, the diploma, it's just such a really cool idea. The care for your baby dragon kit, I mean, who would ever have thought about that? I'm completely blown away. I love every single item and I'm not just saying that. I know I said I was sent this box for free, but my God, the my expectations were nothing like the reality for this box. I am blown away. Genuinely, genuinely, I'm in love with this. And yeah, Mr. Magic, thank you so much for sending me this box. I hope you can tell my reactions are genuine. I'm very excited about the future of your company. If you want to send me more boxes, then I am 
completely happy for you to do so <laughs> and I will unbox every single one on my channel. Go on their website, they have a shop where you can buy some of their items. I'm still not fully used to being back into filming I don't think and I've just opened probably the most incredible box I've ever opened and that's saying something. Okay so I'm going to stop filming now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. Let me know down in the comments what if any, if you could pick any, what your favourite item was. I honestly can't. I honestly can't. I can't even pick a least favourite. Check out my Instagram. I'll be posting photos of these items over there in the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.